So we're gonna get our acceleration here with the uh, Z06 and I'm just gonna be in, you know, kind of light into it initially. Oh. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video we're gonna be going over a 2008 C6 Corvette Z06. First and foremost though, a huge shout out thank you to Harrison Imports for giving me some time with the car. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get into the video. Uh -huh. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 7-liter V8 that goes through a 6-speed manual transmission. It's good for 505 horsepower and then 470 pound-feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Z06. So first off, pretty interesting. The venting here with the hood, pretty small compared to, you know, other modern cars, which is pretty crazy. Got the projector bulbs right there. And then again, the rest of the venting down here in the grill. Again, on the smaller side, pretty interesting. But if you guys haven't noticed, the paint on this car is perfect. It's crazy the condition that this car is in. Now coming to the side here, we've got 18 inch wheels in the front, two 75 millimeter tires. And then you've got the red Corvette brake calipers. You guys can see the rotors are pretty big there. We've got our Z06 badge that says 505 horsepower. And then notice the venting right there. And then also more venting here in the back. Now the rear wheels and tires a little bit different. 19 inch wheels, 325 millimeter tires. And then you guys again can see the rotors with the brakes right there. And also this happens to be on the original tires. So uh, pretty interesting. Now, aside from that, here is your full side view. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is actually a pretty cool feature of this car. So it has the Corvette Racing Team taillights and they have a pretty unique aesthetic. So you guys can see it's a skull with like the Corvette flag for the eyes. I think that is pretty cool. And then we've got the quad exhaust tips here at the bottom. And then if I actually unlock the, uh, or the trunk rather than not do the horn, here's the key fob by the way. Pick this up. You can see we've got the Corvette racing team. Matt's again with the skull. And then you guys know storage space back here is really good. So we'll kind of just close that. And don't worry, I'll get it fully closed in a moment. But here's the rear, and again, notice look how small this little spoiler is. It's just like tiny. Any other car, if it was produced today, would just have like the biggest wing in the back. And so it's just so interesting how times have changed. Here is the door panel in the front. So you guys can see we actually have soft touch here on the door panel, you can rest your arm. And then you've got the electronic release there for the door itself. And you can see the door lock and unlock. Corvette logo, and then I love these seats. You can see they say Z06 on them. Really plush with the cushioning. You don't see this in uh, modern cars, which is pretty interesting. And then you've got the three pedal layout right there. And then stepping in, it's pretty tight. I'm six feet and, I mean, I fit, but it's definitely, especially with my legs and like width, I guess, it's like a pretty uh, tight fit. But you can see once you're in here, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Now the stop start's pretty interesting. You guys can see the button right there for that. And yes, this engine sounds fantastic. Now first off, I love the steering wheel and notice with the Corvette logo right there in the center definitely looks cool, but yeah. Nice leather all around the steering wheel and you can see the gauge cluster here again, kind of more on the old school side of things, but still looks really good. And then we've kind of got an interesting radio unit right there. And then something's pretty cool is this actually has dual zone climate. I wasn't expecting that. It does have heated seats, which is a nice feature. Now here is the six speed shifter really notchy and we'll talk about this more with driving it but this manual transmission feels great and then all the way over and up for reverse there's no push down or pull up for the lockout and they have like pretty tiny cup holders like smallest cups ever this is for the traction control and there's a bunch of different drive modes for it so you've got traction system off competitive driving and then you have everything on so you just have those different modes you can scroll through with the traction system itself and then as for the center console, it's driver faced and it's also really small. Love the trim here in the center portion. You guys can see all of that. And then we actually get a glove box, which is pretty nice. It says Corvette there at the top. And then finishing things here at the top, you actually get universal garage door openers. And then you can see all black headliner here for the roof. Nothing too crazy going on. Well, now that we're done doing our quick walk around, let's get to the most important part, which is driving. And if you guys are wondering, 84.54 for the mileage. Pretty exciting experience.
Well, let's go over visibility before we set off here in this C6 Z06. So there's your visibility over the hood and hopefully you guys can now see the heads up display. Definitely looks old school with the graphics, but it's cool. There's your visibility through both the mirrors, which are actually pretty small. And then the rest of the rear, it's actually really good. And let's set off. So we are setting off in the C6 Z06. And like I said, the manual transmission in this is just perfect. The shifter is really good with the throws. It's actually pretty short throw. And then it's just so notchy. Like you know exactly what gear you're into. And let's see what the rev match is like. Yeah, the engine's actually pretty blippable. <laughs> I think this is the uh, first time I've ever driven an engine this big. That is for sure. Definitely an interesting experience. I'm just taking things slow at this point, just kind of really getting a feel for the car and also considering the fact that the uh, tires are from 2008, right? I got that at the back of my mind. I ain't trying to be Paul Walker 2.0. Uh, all jokes aside, I love how this drives. It's actually really smooth. I wasn't expecting it to be this smooth. I was expecting it to be a lot harsher uh, being over a decade old and obviously being a performance variant, I was expecting the suspension to just be really harsh, but it's not. It's actually really comfortable. It's easy to drive too. Yeah, that rev matching is nice. God, this engine just sounds monstrous. It's, it's not loud and shouty like you get with some modern V8s. Uh, because of the exhausts and everything they put with modern cars and obviously this is a relatively modern car But you guys get what I'm saying um, But even though it's not super loud and shouty, it's just it sounds just large and muscular. It's it's definitely an interesting uh, Experience from a sound perspective. So we're gonna get our acceleration here with the uh, z06 and I'm just gonna be in you know kind of light into it initially Okay, that's a little bit scary. Yeah, kind of uh, started to lose traction a little bit, so I kind of had to pull back slightly. Don't want to end up in the side of a wall, don't want to pull a Mustang. But man, this thing just, it has so many revs, holy crap. That engine is just, I have never experienced anything like this before in my entire life. Wow, that engine is scary. I, I don't know what else, like that is scary. goodness oh okay wow let's see what it sounds like through the tunnel jeez this car I don't even know what to say this car scares me <laughs> just being honest it's it's like so much power and I know 505 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot but when you barely get grip and it's coming from such a large engine it's just a different experience it really is a different experience like I have never experienced a car quite like this before in my life like it just it just gets up so fast and it, it's just like a freaking hammer it really is. This is a scary car. Like I, it's it's one of those cars that like, it's exciting, but it's exciting because you feel like it's just gonna kill you. Oh my gosh. But again, the shifter is still great. I guess that that's nice that the shifter gives you tons of confidence because the car itself is. I love this thing though. I can understand why people would pick one of these over a brand new C8 or over a C7. It just, it has something that neither of those cars have. And I totally have a bug in here. Um, it, it just, again, it has this extra layer of excitement and it just scares you. And you just don't get that with modern cars. They're so good that you just don't get that. And so I guess, I guess that'll get me into summing things up here with this uh, C6 Z06. So first off, from an exterior aesthetics perspective, I've never been in love with the styling on the C6 generation. I think that it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's kind of kind of weird, especially, I think it's mostly the headlights because they have the body colored portion under the headlights. I think that's what kind of does it for me. Um, but I understand a lot of people love the styling on this. Interior wise, I love this interior. Uh, really nice materials with everything you touch, like the shifter feels nice, the steering wheel feels nice, the seats are amazing. Uh, it actually has a really nice interior. And then from a driving characteristic perspective, 
it's interesting like it's it's actually easy to drive it's really easy to drive at low speeds but once you get on it like hold on and just make sure you know what you're doing because this this car just it it's just it's crazy it, it really I, like I said I've never experienced something quite like this so if you want something that is just thrilling because of how scary it is from a driving perspective check one of these out now let's get something's up with our video on this c6 z06 again a huge shout out and thank you to harrison imports for giving me some time with the corvette check out the inventory link below i'll see all of you in the next video